Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG, GFG problem of the day. Check if string is rotated by two places. First of all, a very happy Diwali to all of you. So let's quickly see what the problem has to say. Given two strings A and B, the task is to find if the string B can be obtained by rotating string A by exactly two places. Okay. Yes. So, so let's see but through an example, right? What the problem is trying to say is given a string, right? Uh, for example, A M A Z O N Amazon. So what the problem is saying that a string str1 and str2, for example, if string is A Z O N A M, right? So what the uh, problem is saying is if we rotate string one by two places, can we obtain, can we obtain string two? by rotating string one by two places. Now the two places can be any uh, any from anywhere, like it can be clockwise or anti-clockwise. So we have to rotate uh, in the solution, right? So we have to rotate string one by clockwise, okay? And check whether it is equal, whether it is equals to string two or not, or string or rotate string to, uh, one anti-clockwise, right? So clockwise can be, how it can be, right? So if we rotate string one, clockwise how it will go clockwise will go here right clockwise will go here so we'll move a m a z right we'll move this two two characters right and it will come on the left so okay so what after rotating string one clockwise by two places what will what string will get we'll get this okay and then if we compare these two strings are not equal so now let's rotate anti-clockwise so if we rotate uh uh, string one anti-clockwise, what it will become? Okay, so it will become A, Z, O, N and these two string, right? So these will these uh, will move this this way, right? So this A, M will go at the end, okay? A, M, okay? So the string will become this A, Z, O. So is it matching now? Yes, it is matching to string two. So we'll return, yes, uh, it is true, okay? So we'll take string one, we'll rotate clockwise, by two places and we'll uh, okay we'll compare string one string two if it matches written true and if it does not we'll uh, uh, check anti clockwise okay we'll rotate string one anti clockwise by two place by two places okay and we'll compare string one and string two okay so there are two approaches to this okay there are two approaches to this one with extra space okay and one without extra space one without extra space so here if you see the challenge is see expected auxiliary time complexity is o of n but they have given the challenge that try doing it in O of 1 space complexity. So let's quickly see the first approach with O of N, extra spaced complexity, right? So here, simply what we'll do is we'll take extra spaces, clock rotation and anti-clockwise rotation. So first we'll compare, we'll rotate string 2 only. We'll, rot we'll rotate string 2 only, right? So let's, let's say if string 2 is this A-Z-O-N-A-M, okay? If it is anti-clockwise, so we are going to rotate okay we are going to rotate so what we'll do uh, in this in this right what we are doing is first we are calculating the length of string right length of length of string 2 okay and then what we are doing here is we are taking substring we are appending to empty string and we are taking substring substring from where from these two places length of minus 2 plus length okay so what we are doing we are taking am right am right and then what we are doing 0 to len minus 2. What is len minus 2? Len, if length is 6, right? A, M, A, Z, O, N. Length is 6. Len minus 2 will be 4, right? So first what we are doing? 4 to 6. 4 to 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 to 6. We are taking this substring 4 to 6. And then what we are appending is uh, 0 to 4. 0 to 4. So 0 to 4. To 4 places. So we are appending A, Z, O, N. Okay. Amazon. Right, and then we are okay. So this anti-clockwise will contain this a m plus a z o n. Okay, first we are taking anti-clockwise rotation, and now then we will be taking clockwise rotation. Right. So if the if string two had been this, right? If string two had been this, what we are doing is string two of substring two. So two means it will start from here, right, till the end of the string. So it will pick a m a z, right. And then, and then the second part would be 0 to 2, right? 0 to 2, right? So 0 to 2, we are, uh, 
we are appending later on O N zero to two O N. So Amazon, right? And then simply what we are checking is what we are checking is if string one equals string clock rotation, right? Clock rotation which we contain or anti clockwise rotation, right? If any of them is true, then will it will return true. Okay, so this is the approach one with extra space, right? We are taking extra space and then uh, taking substring n all and placing it in the extra spaces. Okay, so this will suffice, but the challenge is O of one without extra, extra space, right? Without extra space. So let's see the second approach. Simply what we'll do here is, see, we are not taking any extra space. What we'll do is, let's see, uh, we, we will iterate through all the characters, right? We'll iterate through all the characters and if string one is this right and string two for let's say example if it is this right so what we are doing is see simply we'll starting from i equal to zero we'll compare this character of string one right string one and string two right so we'll compare this character with what with string two of i plus two character we'll compare this and this right and we'll move we'll move ahead if at any point of time, if the characters are not equal, if this and this were not equal, we'll simply clockwise false, we'll do clockwise false and we'll break because it is not, it does not seem to be clockwise rotation, right? So A and C, A and A. Then if it matches, then we'll move ahead to uh, I equal to one, right? I equal to one, it is equal, let's move ahead. Then I equal to two, it is equal, let's move ahead. I equal to three, it is equal, let's move ahead. Now i equal to four, right? i equal to four. But if we are doing i plus two, right? So it will so it will exceed, right? N. It will exceed the n, right? And may throw what? Uh, the index out of array out of bounded uh, exception, right? So what we are doing is here O we are checking, right? But here what we are doing? I plus two. So O plus uh, so four plus two, i equal to four, four plus two, six, six more six, right? Six more six we are doing. 4 plus 2, right? 4 plus 2, 6. 6 mod 6 we are doing. So it will go to 0. 0 to location. It will check O and O. See, it is checking. Yes, it is equal. We'll move ahead. We'll proceed ahead. Then N, right? N. Again, N is 5 now. So what we'll do here in this case? 5 plus 2, 7, right? 7. 5 plus 2, 7 mod 6. So 7 mod 6 will give us 1, right? Remainder 1. So we'll be comparing this and this. Okay? Okay, we'll compare this and this. Yes, all is equal. So clockwise will remain true. Okay, and let's let's see this as well. If it was not a clockwise rotation, let's see this as well. So in this case, we will be uh, doing clock. Uh, we'll be doing the rotation of this, right? Uh, I plus two. See if what we are doing. What you're going to do? If it is this case, str one, right, and str two, right. So what we are checking here is we'll be checking from here. I plus two for string one, i plus two, right? A and A, i plus two. See, str two of character is zero. And here we are checking here. Yes, it is equal. So let's move ahead. We check this and this, right? i plus two, okay? Yes, it is equal. Let's move ahead. O and this O, this is O, okay? This is O, okay? Yes, it is equal. Then N and N, yes, okay, it is equal. Three, okay, now i equal to four. I equal to four. Okay. I equal to four. Zero, one, two, three, four. This and what we'll do? Four plus two, right? Six. So six mod six, zero. So we'll be checking this, right? This and this. It is equal. Yes. Then we'll proceed ahead. This time I, this is N. Okay. So yeah. So this is what I plus two, right? So five plus two, seven, seven mod, seven mod six equal to one. So we'll be comparing this and this, right? So if, if, if everything is equal, all the characters are same, then this anti-clockwise will return, will be true, will remain true, right? And then simply what we'll do, return clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, if either of them is uh, true, remains true, will return true or else it will be false. Okay, so I hope you have got the solution. Okay, so let's quickly see. We have uh, uh, implemented with the second approach, that is the challenge one of one with no extra space okay o of one space okay so definitely first we'll check first we'll check if both the strings are not equal definitely the length of the strings are not equal they cannot be uh, uh, of course they will return false as they cannot be the uh, rotation equal 
okay then second would be right second uh, uh, yeah so this one we have already seen right okay the clockwise rotation if it is clockwise rotation and the second follow up is for anti clockwise rotation okay so let's quickly let's submit okay the solution is accepted thanks for watching kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much